Black history, in my opinion, is really a part of American history, and it's a part of BIW history. And you can see that by the namesakes of some of the ships that have sailed down the river recently and over time. You think about Thomas Hudner, that's kind of Tom's story and his heroic actions, but the story of Jesse Brown, too, the first uh, black naval aviator and their relationship well before the Civil Rights Movement. You think of the Lyndon B. Johnson, that kind of carries with him as it sails down the Kennebec, his story, but also the signing of the 1964 Civil Rights Act. So there's a whole lot of black history as well as American history that's a part of this BIW story. Black History Month is really a good month to actually highlight that, you know, we, are, we should be one. You know, given the history of this country and where we're coming from, being one is the future. It's where we need to be. I mean, different culture, but one nation. And that's what I love about Black History Month. So I'm originally from Jamaica. I came to New York City. And from New York City, I came to Maine. Coming to New York City, living in a Brooklyn, I've recognized that there's got a little bit of segregation. Like, you know, the white people live here, black people live here, Puerto Rican live here, Mexican live here, and everybody's segregated. I didn't like that at all. I wanted to integrate, but I didn't see integration until I actually went to school. When I went to school, that's when I saw integration. I loved it, I loved it. So diversity is good when I can look around and not only see, uh, 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 see, see some of myself, to say, put it out, put it that way. And others like me working here really makes it, it just gives it, uh, that's, all I can, that's all I can say. <laughs> I grew up in Massachusetts and went to school out at Ohio State, so moved from Columbus, Ohio to Bath Ironworks. Life in the shipyard is different. I'd spent some time with Marathon Petroleum down in Garyville, Louisiana, which temperature-wise is certainly, certainly shocking coming here but it's a little bit of a different culture, but there's a lot of pride in the shipyard that you don't quite see everywhere else. BIW is kind of one of these great underdog stories of this little shipyard on the coast of Maine that's managed to pull together kind of these brilliant technical minds and incredibly skilled mechanics to kind of not only build these incredibly complex surface combatants, but build them to a standard of quality that's unrivaled in industry. So I'm here at BIW to kind of be a continued part of that story, and that's what brought me here. What I love about this place, man, is how together we are the best. And that's what I love, it. bad little best place. We're making history, come on, man. <laughs> we got the baddest ship on the ocean. Anyway, <laughs> I'm excited about that, and we're a part of that. I'm experiencing that, and I'm a part of that, and that makes me proud. We're defending our country, we're defending this country, with something we built right here where I live. Come on, Who, how many people can say that? <laughs>